Do you think that food that contains DNA should be labeled? Probably, yeah. Yes, I think people need to be aware of what's going into their body, good or bad. I guess if it's an ingredient inside the food, then yeah, anything that's inside the food should be on the label. If a bag of Cheetos said, will alter your DNA poorly, maybe somebody wouldn't want to eat those Cheetos that day. <laughs> All that DNA and Cheetos just burning it. <laughs> if it did, it's a tomato, I think it's okay. It's got some tomato DNA in it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, labeling food containing DNA is pretty silly. It's the stuff of life, contained in just about every morsel of fruit, vegetable, grain, or meat put into your mouth. But we asked this question of locals in Venice, California, because food science researchers out of the University of Florida found that 80% of Americans they polled favored mandatory DNA labeling. This tracks with the widely held view that mandatory labeling of genetically modified organisms is a good idea, which 84% of respondents to the same poll believe to be true. You affect the na its natural state? It, I, I just don't, I can't believe that it's healthy. It's a very serious thing to start messing with our food system, and I think it should really be thoroughly researched. There are studies, you know, that show that over 25 years there haven't really been conclusive links showing that GMOs cause more disease or, you know, are more harmful than other crops. So, you know, does that change your mind at all, or, or what would it, what would you need to see in order to? Oh, I've seen, be okay doc with that? I've seen documentaries. There's like conspiracy, and they're all on Netflix. In reality, humans have been genetically modifying our food for centuries, just with less precise techniques. GMO foods are no less safe than their non-GMO counterparts. And the fact is that GMOs have fed the world. Thanks in large part to GMOs, the amount of land plowed by farmers increased by only about 10% while we've grown triple the amount of food to feed a doubling population. It all raises a serious question. Are science and politics compatible? Do you think that politicians care about science when they're thinking about policy? No, I don't think so. Especially on the right wing, a lot of people, a lot of uh, politicians uh, are really skeptical of co universities and stuff. They think they're indoctrinating people. I do think that there is misinformation and a lot of misguided people, particularly in the right. A lot of those people are can be like very devoted Christians or that kind of thing, and they have a lot of heavy religious beliefs that stem from like the Bible and thou shalt not be killed or whatever. Creationism. Um Food, diet, auto safety, uh, I mean, even gun control, that's a science. It seems like the, uh, the left side is a lot more open. It is true that fewer conservatives than liberals believe in things like the theory of evolution, but not by much. Pew Research found that 30% of Democrats deny evolution, compared to 39% of Republicans. When it comes to other scientific matters, the waters are even muddier. For instance, Democrats and Republicans believe in the false link between vaccines and autism at roughly equal levels. Our rate in autoimmune disease is going up, our rate in autism is going up, our rate in diabetes is going up, and I really do believe that vaccines are the first step. If a virus comes back, well, you know what? Uh, we just have to evolve along with it. So if, if let's say, smallpox came back, yeah, yeah. no vaccine, you wouldn't, you wouldn't vaccinate yourself? If smallpox came back, I would, yeah, not vaccinate myself. And it's largely liberal Democratic politicians pushing anti-vaping laws. I've read only a couple things about how it is hazardous or just as hazardous to, the, to health as smoking cigarettes. Um, I think that vaping is, shouldn't, shouldn't even be, be allowed because I, I think that in the vaping you don't really know what, you, what, what you're inhaling. I've heard that although vaping looks better, they're actually pretty, they will have nicotine and they will have like tar and carcinogen. Is there, is there any scientific like proof that, well like second hand vaping like causes problems or respiratory issues or anything? Public health agencies estimate e-cigarettes to be around 95% safer than conventional tobacco cigarettes, and there's evidence they help smokers quit. Vaping products don't contain any tobacco, yet the FDA still wants to treat them as tobacco products. The big science policy issue of the day, though, seems to be global warming. Why do you think that the right is more biased? Because Donald Trump says that there's no global warming. Climate change and, uh, you know, to actually deny that that's real is pretty ludicrous as a scientist. There has been a lot of objection to climate change, for instance, which has been pretty solid scientific evidence for a while. There's pretty clear science on emissions and that sort of thing. I believe that anyone who thinks that climate change isn't real is a joke. I went to Antarctica a few years ago and I can tell you climate change is real. 64% of Democrats believe in man-made global warming, while only 22% of Republicans do. 
But when it comes down to realistic solutions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, Democrats still aren't always science-minded. Do you support alternative energy sources like fracking if they would reduce the amount of greenhouse gases going into the atmosphere? No. I don't particularly think fracking is a good thing. I think it causes, uh, you're taking water from, you know, really deep sources and they cause earthquakes where places they shouldn't. You're pumping stuff into the ground and causing earthquakes and fissures and all kinds of stuff. If they can figure out another technology that's like similar or like works a similar way that's less invasive on the environment, totally. I'd be for it, for sure. I don't know if you saw this, but the EPA actually just came out with, with their years-long study on yeah. fracking, and they yeah. found that there was no systemic contamination of groundwater or disease in the, the communities affected. Um, so if you saw convincing data that showed that, would you maybe change your mind on that issue? Sure, sure. I, I think so. I mean, you know... Again, the sanctity of certain environments is important to me. Burning natural gas extracted through fracking is cleaner than oil or gasoline and far more economically viable than non-nuclear renewable sources. And it emits half as much carbon dioxide, less than one-third the nitrogen oxides, and 1% as much sulfur oxides as coal combustion. The ongoing switch from coal to natural gas to generate electricity is a primary driver of the reduction in U.S. greenhouse gas emissions by half a billion tons over the last decade, according to the EPA. The U.S. Geological Survey found that fracking can cause extremely small earthquakes, but they are almost always too small to be a safety concern, and is more concerned with a particular method of wastewater disposal that can cause larger earthquakes. What do you think about nuclear energy as a, as a form of renewable energy? It's Again, it's got to be safe. I'd be really worried about having, like, giant nuclear plants in California only because of what we saw in Fukushima. If I were worried about people potentially dying like a Chernobyl sort of a situation, I would be more concerned about that than I would about not being able to go to Venice anymore. Like you say the word nuclear and everybody is absolutely terrified because they think of Chernobyl or with Fukushima and all the radiation and like <laughs> the death of the universe. Only 45% of Democrats support expanding the use of nuclear energy, as compared to 62% of Republicans, despite the fact that except for Chernobyl, not a single person, including nuclear workers, has ever died due to a commercial nuclear reactor incident. If I, if I told you that since Chernobyl it was zero in any you, commercial in nuclear accident. In all the world? Wow. Even, what, what do you even, think? At, even at Fukushima? No, no people died at Fukushima, yeah. Wow, I didn't realize that. Interesting. From the radioactive right. Right, oh, release, that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. So maybe it's not Republicans who are dumber than Democrats when it comes to science, or the other way around, but that everyone has blind spots when data-based evidence contradicts their political preferences. I think it's interesting because all these topics are very nuanced and very opinion-based, and they really lead people to think a lot of black and white answers like, yes or no. GMOs are bad, this is bad, this is bad, right? So it's interesting to have these sort of points that so many of these are like kind of gray area questions, right?